<clears throat> Yo, Internet, welcome to the Complain Train, talking to everybody about some gaming news today. But sadly enough, I kind of can't edit a lot of shit into this video today because, again, my cord that actually connects to my PC, to my cell phone, because I'm recording this off of Galaxy 4, the cord that I'm using is actually being a bitch at, uh, at, um, at the moment. So, technically, I can't edit these videos. So, basically, I'm going to have to do this the most ghetto way possible and turn the fucking camera towards the um towards the articles in which that i'm talking about just sort of have them up there or at the very least just sort of just sort of like pause and sort of like throw like a tiny little intermission like in the middle and then sort of just keep on going you know so basically to so basically to not push this to push this shit any further what am i talking about today and if you check check the title of nintendo is basically just delusional as fuck. Well, what is going on? Go, going on before I move over to the Nintendo, move over over to the Scorpio shit. What's going on with Scorpio? Well, the Scorpio is some shit, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. But basically, looking at um, some of these Nintendo titles, the the Nintendo Switch will deliver. Say will will fully deliver the third parties that we you could. Well, that one's a little bit difficult to kind of say, but from what I understand, though, is that them actually trying to take that and turn it into something bigger, bigger, uh, bigger than what it is, or actually trying to try and try and get those on there, it's a nice step. But then again, you think about it, and that Mario Kart 8 is still running at fucking 30 frames frames per second in uh, in three player and four player mode mode. So that's so that's gonna be a tiny stretch. Especially when basically like like I haven't even touched upon me like like basically the third party thing is say like it's far reaching but then again Nintendo kind of already has problems as it is already especially since that especially since that they're not trying to make their own little gaming lobby and shit and that they're just trying to do every little thing possible to kind of get over so that they don't have to do do like basic like system shit anymore because again I was asking the question if if the Wii U is stronger than both them 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 both the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox th um, uh, 360 with its four gigabytes of RAM you would ask the question of why is that that they're having hard ass time why is that they are having a hard ass time doing the whole matchmaking thing thing and trying to turn that into something why the fuck do we have to use our cell phones i have no idea but it's not a good sign you know and 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 honestly that's not even like 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 um uh the fucking ass end of it um the ass end of it is basically like um uh is when you really is that when you really think about it okay sorry i just been clicking through shit but, like, you think about that, and it's like, okay, they don't have, basically, like, a normal streaming service. Okay, that's a problem. But then you also look at, at that, the, that the Nintendo Switch, Switch when, it, when it comes out, same as, same as the Wii U, it will not have Netflix or media functionality when it, when it, when it comes out. And, and, basically, the craziest thing is, is that Nintendo is considering video streaming services... Um, uh, services post post launch. You would think that that would be something that they would try and fix early on because again, yeah, like they did get shit for that. That when the Wii U came out, I mean, I mean, sure, like the cell phone thing is basically like the highest thing up on their shit block. But but you would think that that getting the streaming services and get every and getting everything out early would probably be like their main goal. But surprisingly, it's not. You know, and basically it's like, I think FIFA is EA's only Switch game until the platform launches. So now we have two games. Well, technically they have about six they want want, want to come out. But FIFA and Legend of Zelda The Breath of the Wild, of course those are going to be like their only two games games coming out at that time. Speaking of Legend of Zelda Breath of the, Breath of the Wild, sell your Wii U's because yes, I know that I'm late, but... Sell that fucking thing because again, it's no, or at least at the very least, they're only gonna focus on keeping I think Mario Kart 8 and uh, Splatoon open for the Wii U. 
after that, once the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild comes out, you fuck. So you may go ahead and like just either scrap that shit or basically get so or basically buy yourself a dust clean and get kit because they are not gonna keep fucking with that, you know. Or get yourself a like a nice shelf. I think the craziest thing that's actually kind of making me wonder though is the fact that Nintendo honestly believes that they can sell 40 million systems. Well, actually, another article came out saying that they wanted to predict they were going to sell 40, um, uh, a, say, one, uh, 100 million units sold. And something about that just kind of just screams, no, that's not going to happen. Now, I know that I took a lot of articles that they, they will be linked down in the description, and I kind of threw all those up there, and I kind of just mashed them all together to kind of, like, just make some shit. But the funniest thing is, like, 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 out of all that, is the fact that Nintendo, like, after all this time, time, and them busting a, busting a Sega with them creating this goddamn brand new system and shit, that they honestly believe that they're gonna, like, do something to actually kind of change the gaming market, or at the very least, they're gonna try and do something to basically say, look, man, we're hitting back. Now, I like where they're going, going with them trying, man, to go ahead and put, put out games and trying to build up their libraries and stuff like that. But the problem still kind of hits you hard of saying that Nintendo, you still kind of have to make some sales first. I mean, the fucking thing ain't even out yet and you bear it, say like, and you don't really have that much for 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 a lineup. Actually, they're actually they're kind of presenting it. They're, say they're already coming in half, half, half cock because it's like, they're not even trying, trying trying to give you the streaming services or none of that like like up front because because it's like you already kind of had this problem with the Wii U and the biggest problem with the Wii U when 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 people were playing Splatoon was the fact that there was no voice chat like there was basically random matchmaking and a whole bunch of other problems that kind of came with that even though Splatoon it was a fun game Hopefully Nintendo learns their lesson, but until then, that is what I gotta say about that. Please tell me what do you think about this down there in the comment section. This has been the Complain Train. We've reached our stop. I'm out.